Hello and welcome to part two of this video about binary addition and adders. In the previous video we looked at binary addition and how half adders and full adders work separately and in this video what we're going to look at is how we can combine them together so that we can perform binary addition. Okay let's have a look. So just to review quickly, uh, so we had half adders which were used for the right hand column when addition because they've only got two inputs and we said that we've got uh, the two inputs are A and B, those are the two digits we're going to add together and always it resulted in a sum of the two numbers and then sometimes a carry out just like in normal deanery and we said that this was achieved through the use of a half adder which was a combination of an XOR and an AND gate with two inputs A and B and then the sum and the carry out and that only worked for the right hand column now all the other columns from the right uh, from the second column along onwards you need to use a full adder because we've got the A and the B the two digits that we're adding together plus we've also got that carryover from the previous column and again we've got two outputs so we've got A B and we've got C which is the carry in plus we've got the sum and then any carry out again and we said that this could be achieved through the use of a full adder using two XOR gates, two AND gates and an OR gate with three possible inputs A, B and carry in and two outputs the sum and the carry out. And that carries on for each of the columns all the way through to the end. So on each column we have an A, B, a carry in a sum and a carry out all the way all the way along as far as you need to go depending on how big the numbers are that you're adding together. Okay so in our system we're going to be combining the half adders and the full adders and here we've got the, the half adder, here we've got the full adder but in order to make our diagram a little bit simpler when we're explaining it what we'll do is we'll hide the interior workings or the XOR gates and we'll just replace the diagrams, each di uh, diagram, with just the inputs and the outputs to each. So for the half adder, we're just going to show the A and the B inputs, and the S and uh, the sum and the carry out for the outputs. And for the full adder, we're just going to show you the carry in, the A and the B, uh, and then for the outputs, the sum and the carry out. Feel free to draw the diagrams, the full diagrams with all of the XOR and 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 all, uh, OR gates in there if you wish. Um, but we'll just keep it simple for the moment so we can see how the logic of it works. Okay, so imagine here we're going to add these two four digits, uh, four bit numbers together. You can see the actual result of the calculation there. Um, in order to do this on the computer, what we're going to do is we're going to have all of the A inputs which is the first, all of the first digits that we're going to add together, all of the B uh, inputs, which is all of the second uh, binary digits, uh, not digits, binary bits that we're going to add together. And then in each case, we're going to have a sum and a carry out, starting from the right and working uh, through to the left. Now, to make things a little bit easier in our diagrams, because we've got lots of A's, B's, S's and S, uh, C's, we will label them from the right to the left, showing where it begins and goes through. So we've got A1, B1, S1, C1, and then A, uh, A2, B2, S2, C2, all the way along right through to the end. Now, I'm only going to use four, uh, four bits, but you can use as many as you like, depending on the size of the numbers that you're adding together. Okay, so let's have a look how it works. So we'll draw our half adder on the right hand side because that's going to be adding up the two right hand bits. And what we do is we stack together, we're going to need four in total. One half adder, and you can see the half adder here connects through the C out here, the carry out from the half adder goes into the C in on the uh, full adder, next one along. So the output of this goes along to there. Uh, and then all the way through the chain. So each one, as you go further along, it's always the carry out from the previous is feeding into the carry in on the next one, which looks just like that. There we go. And that's as, as, as complicated as it needs to be for adding up to four bit uh, numbers. So let's see this in action. Let's say we're doing this calculation here all the way along. So the first thing we do is we feed in the one and the one into the first half adder. 
1 plus 1 is 2, which is 1, 0. So your sum goes to 0 and your carry out goes to 1. And that gets fed into the next full adder. And that one there, you've got a 0 and 1 from the A and B bits, plus that 1 coming in from the carry in. So 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 2, which in binary is 1, 0. So your 0 stays in your sum. And then again, your 1 gets carried out to the next 1. So now on the next one here, we've got 1 plus 1 plus 1, which makes 3, which in binary is 1, 1. So your sum gets 1. And your carry out also gets one, sending it through to the final of the full adders. And there you can see 0 plus 0 plus 1 is, of course, 1. So in this instance, it goes into the full adder and the sum gets put as 1. And then there's no carry, so that gets put at 0. And there we go. That's it. That's all you need to do in order to perform binary addition using half adders and full adders. The bigger your numbers that you're adding together, all you need to do is just string in more and more full adders as long as you need to go, um, and then you'll get through to the number that you need. There we go. Okay, I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, then uh, please pop them in the comments. And as always, please like and subscribe if you do like the video. Thank you very much, and good luck.